Uh, my thoughts after going through units three and four, um, I didn't know that you could allow offline access to Google Drive um, so that you can access your documents even without an internet connection. Um, I thought that was really cool, really handy. Um, I also really like the idea of using Google Forms, I believe it was, um, to develop quizzes. So for instance, you could have a quiz at the beginning of class and you could immediately see the feedback on it. Um, you could see the responses, you can, um, it makes your grading process quicker, um, and then you can actually spend the rest of class, or at least a portion of class, uh, focusing on common missed answers to help clarification so students learn why they made the mistakes um, without having to go home and wait it out, and then usually, I mean, often they would probably lose interest or not really remember the question that well. So. Reviewing the quiz right after it's taken, I think, would be incredibly beneficial. Um, so using Google Forms would be a really good way to do that. Um, I would actually consider uh, doing the Google Educator certification. Um, at first, I didn't really think it would be worth the time because as a whole, I'm pretty familiar with Google Apps, so I didn't think I could learn much from the Educator uh, certification program. However, I realize now that there are many small details that can be used to enhance education little by little uh, to make it easier, more efficient, and more enjoyable too. So now I think I would be willing to get that certification. Um, I don't know if it would make me more marketable in the as a future job applic applicant. Um, it might though, um, since it's an open and apparently free course, anybody could technically gain certification. Um, even if it takes them a couple tries. That said, the certification itself may not necessarily stand out since, I mean, somebody could know Google Apps inside and out and have never taken the course. Um, but it would show you, it would show that you exhibit an extra interest in new age education and that you are willing to spend your own free time bettering your own techniques. So that might show employers that you're more dedicated than other competitors. Um, my experience working with um, the Google Apps, I, I worked with a Google Docs suite, and I actually had a friend help me out in doing a collaborative document. Uh, basically, we both worked on the same document at the same time, but from different states. Um, I thought it was really cool that everything could be edited in real time. Um, I think it could be a huge game changer for classrooms as far as group projects go. Um, sometimes it's hard uh, to do group projects and set up a time when everybody is available. Using a real-time editor, um, it kind of allows group collaboration to happen without needing everyone to physically be together at the same time. Um, another advantage for students um, who are more timid when it comes to speaking up. So say you have a teacher's document um, that covers the class lecture or has class material on it. And um, a student can go in and post specific comments uh, that highlight in the document what they're commenting on. Um, if they ask questions, you know, we can go back as teachers and clarify what that is. Um, it helps the student who asks the question as well as any other students who might, may have the same question but were too afraid to ask for clarification. Um, as I said in the beginning, I was uh, surprised that Google Drive can be accessed without an internet connection if you make it accessible. Um, this itself kind of cancels out the only disadvantage that I saw. Um, I used to think programs such as Microsoft Word were better simply because you don't need an internet, uh, internet access to edit the document. However, with um, this new offline mode through Google Drive, it opens up a whole new playing field, and honestly, I don't see much of a difference between using Word and using Google Drive, especially when you can use them both together. Like, there's really no downside to it, honestly.